Iran. Now that North Korea has joined our system, one that overtly we would call our legal system, international law, now that they have signed documents, they are bound by their word. They are responsible for committing their actions behind those words. And if they do not perform the international documents can be used as proof for a slugfest. So Iran is going to fall into the category of the Trinity warrior, the peaceful warrior. Fight, fight, fight. This is important because it's not going to be done from outside. It's going to be done from within. And those who have paid close attention understand that's what the Trinity Warrior is designed to do because, like we said before, just like the outside world is infinite, the inside world is also infinite. And through this process, the people have the power. And they can take their freedom in the way that they choose. And the way that they choose is to simply have choice. That's what they want. That's what they're fighting for. This is why when North Korea is no longer in the picture, they're the last technical rogue state left. And the world is almost ready to be all on the same page, all on international law, all under one system. Because our world needs to be ready and collected, sober. Because we have announced also the sixth branch of our military, which is the Space Force. So we're going to go get more land and the people that we're going to go take it from, they're not pushovers, natives, or savages, all right? The people that we're going to be moving into their world, like Avatar, except they're more human. <laughs> When we move into their world, we need to really know what we're doing. We need to be connected. We need to be ready. 5G technology is coming online at the right time. Everything has its place. Everything has its purpose. Everything is done with intent, with management. Are you understanding how all these things are games? There are players. Once you realize that simple fact you can insert yourself anywhere you find the most pleasure you want to be a warrior you want to be a doctor you want to be an electrician you see, you can be whatever you want and you don't have to be that your entire life but you should participate in something and when you do it if you do not give it your all then you will receive less if you give it your all you will receive all it is a simple formula that has always been around there is nothing different the only thing that changes is if you extract the lies from your life, the lies from your words, the lies from your actions. Only thing that comes out is your all, is your essence, your uniqueness, your perfection, as close as you can get to it. Because you want to have a relationship with all things. You want to be connected to it. And you don't want that to be false. You want that to be true. You want true love. That is true love. Recognition. Awareness. Not consciousness. That's not what we're talking about here. Consciousness is already full. The reason why you can close your eyes and have an imagination is because it exists somewhere in the world. And the world is grand. 
huge. We do not know the ends of it. It is so large. So, things that are left on the sidelines will fall. Israel is being built to be a city-state. Now, this is important because this comes last. Once all the other pieces come together, you must put the things in the body. Okay, You must have a vessel, a vehicle, a wrapper in which to move your energy your calories, your effort. And that body, in this particular case, is the human race. You take the United Nations logo and you look at it very, very closely, and that is what this next body is being built to support, is that. That is the new body. 33 sections, no coincidence. Everything is managed, everybody. This is important. Everything is in control. Because that's what we are good at. We're like a beehive. Not everybody knows what everybody else is doing. But if you look far enough, you'll see that there are agendas and projects and perspectives that are being put in place. Money is backing them. A tsunami is causing these things to rise because of the energy that is being focused inside. So now we're under one system. Jerusalem will be the body. Now, what is, the, what is their responsibility? Why are they important? How have they earned this position? Let's back up then and start from the beginning. <clears throat> the Vatican. The Vatican is like the mind. The Vatican is air. It's the intelligence system itself. All information goes, all data goes to the mind, to the Vatican. So, orders are disseminated from this place. So technically people out there will say, it's the Vatican that controls the world. It's the Jesuits. Think of the Jesuits as the military arm of the Vatican. So, but they are the most sophisticated warriors because they insert themselves into other countries and provide policy to maintain the integrity of the contracts in which they have because they have their authority from people who have given this to them in some way, whether through violence, theft, peace, gifts, regardless of how they accumulated these assets, like land and title, people, organizations, all these things they have through documentation. This gives them authority from a standpoint of legality, of the system itself. So they disseminate. Now what happened is the people got angry at one particular point in time and they rebelled against the Vatican. So the Vatican, you know, they decided to have a franchisee. They said, we need to separate ourselves into a new body. And the monarchy system came along. And they instituted that under Charlemagne and people like that. And this allowed them to expand their empire. Now, eventually that turned into the city of London, where now the currency and economics were being handled. Now, this was also important because this provided the water. So now you have air and water working together in the body in a harmonic way so they can maintain their power. And then people can now have a way to express their grievances, to be heard. And this is what the monarchy was designed to do. And it provided levels to ascend into the ranks. So another thing came out of this was what the university system. The university system was designed to take the greatest talent and then they can pluck out the people they want from there. 
to be part of their organizations. So this was a great benefit. Then what needed to take place is people got unruly again against the monarchy because now you actually have a head that you can chop off. Here comes Washington, D.C., the third city-state. Now this is the military branch of it all. This is the police force, the policy enforcers. You know, we get the spoils of war here. And I hate to be so frank about it, but that's pretty much what it is. And now, that, and that is the fire. That's Mars. So you can see that these three gods that I'd like to look at it, of Jupiter being the Vatican, you have Mars being Washington, D.C., and the city of London being Neptune. But we have one more. We have another to add, which is Jerusalem, Saturn. Saturn keeps track of generations, knows everybody's lineage, cares a great deal about ancestry, heritage, history. That's their job, record it all. They are the body. That's what the body does. That's what they're building. Because if they now, once they have a body like a giant, like a Titan, Olympian, it can walk into the world, demand, command, be a king or queen, change people's social order, their understanding of themselves, their relationship to the world. All of these things will be in place. 5G, blockchain technology, everything true and correct, self-validating, self-verifying. Therefore, lies have no light. They have no food. They wither, they die. And unfortunately, people believe in a lot of lies. We all believe in things that are untrue on some level. And when these revelations come out, that the things that we previously believed aren't true, it affects us deeply, makes us ill turns us into zombies. We drool over ourselves. We can't believe it. It's so unbelievable. We have to reorganize everything we ever thought and did. And we have to question our reality. So the experiment is designed to bring you into reality. So that way you with compassion and with the arming of knowledge and evidence can be there to help others, can be there to help yourself. Because through that, where you stand up and do something, you motivate the other people around you to do the same, to say, hey, I want to come. I want to go with you. What are you doing? What's going on? Why don't you put down that controller and come with me? Let's go find out. Let's go walk into the world. See what we can find. Let's go look for resources, whatever those resources may be, whether it's an ant farm or gold, a spaceship, whatever it is. Use your hands with pleasure.